Um, I normally don't make these videos, but I figured I'd share a little bit of knowledge insight. Uh, I shattered my lens on my uh, Sony Action Cam, the 4K FDR X1000V. Uh, it's several years old. I'm sure there's newer models. Uh, so I googled and, and, and searched on YouTube. People say get a GoPro Hero 2 M20 or something like that, but the threads are correct. It actually sits in there kind of flush, but the focus is wrong. I have to screw it in more and it won't let me. I've read on some of the comments in that one video where the guy said the same thing. It won't focus. A uh, guy commented to get rid of there's a limiter in there. If you look in there, this I'm using a phone camera. There's uh, It screws in, but it won't screw in any further because there's a plastic shim in there. You see that plastic shim? That round black circle? I get think he's suggesting to get rid of that and you can screw it in a little further. And after screwing it in, it looks like I swear I just need a quarter turn, half a turn for it to focus. So let's see if the, what that guy commented on that one guy's video works. I will tag you guys in it. Uh, first, you guys know how to take this all out of the assembly. All those videos showed you. There's one, two, three screws here. I loosened it up. But as you can see, there is a wire right there. A data wire that connects to the, the LCD screen. I decided not to disconnect that. That's going to be a pain in the ass to put that back in. But what it did is, as you can see, it's loose enough to where the sensor assembly just kind of pops out. Um, pop the microphones out. Don't leave them in there. You'll rip the wires. Make sure they're, you know which one's left or right. I don't know if it even matters. And then this wire right here was connected. You see that? And then that pops out e easy and I assume popping it back in is uh, going to be much easier than dealing with the LCD wire in there. So there's three black screws. I already screwed one out. Let me pause the video. Alright, I unscrewed those three screws. It came right out. Be careful of the sensor. I take no responsibility if y'all damage y'all shit. Just giving some insight. But there's that black limiter, that round disc. I don't know. Yeah, there it is. See that round circle in there? We gotta shave that down. Can't. That way, I can screw it down just a little bit okay. more. What I used was a Dremel tool, just a little pointed bit. Uh, it looked like it worked. See that black circle isn't there anymore. Um, of course, I'm gonna clean it up before I screw in the lens, but it looked like it worked. Uh, be very careful. Don't touch this on the threads. I attacked it from the back, not the thread end, the other end, and just made sure that that tip of this is only on that limiter thing that guy called it, the black plastic trim that stops the lens from screwing in further. Uh, it's a little rough. I'll probably go over it with a more finer bit here pretty soon, smooth it out. Um, of course, I'm going to make it probably a little bit uh, deeper. So that way, whenever you screw it in, if I make it perfectly flat and flush, the threads will stop. It'll get stuck on the plastic. But if I make that, where I, that ring I shaved off, if I make it a little bit deeper than, than the actual threads, then this can actually screw past that part I sanded without obstructing the threads. So I'm going to do that and clean it up and uh, we'll see if it works. Alright, after sanding it two or three times, you can see that ring is gone. I, it's kind of a botched up job. I didn't really do it that well, but let's see, focus. Yeah, there we go. You can see I grounded it down a little bit further so that way the threads don't get stuck on it. It was pretty difficult. For, for a second time, I thought it was clear, it would still stop. I didn't want to force it in and, you know, kind of make new threads. I didn't want to take that chance, so I kind of sanded it down a little more. You can see I kind of poked a hole there. Hopefully that doesn't matter. It's behind the lens, but no light should get through there. I mean, it's behind all this electronics. I can jam a piece of, uh, of electrical tape there. 
kind of block light, but that's what I did. It did screw in further, and I think it's going to be enough. Normally, it stops around there. You can see where the, the limiter, or whatever you want to call it, used to be, but now I can screw it in several more turns allowing me probably to adjust focus. Putting it back together, make sure you uh, put the microphone back in its hole. That wire is, uh, I guess, the hardest part, putting it back together. That black tab, it lifts up. Be careful putting your screwdriver back there. You don't want to hit the small transistors and whatnot, resistors. It'll pop up. It opens it, so that way you can slide that in easily and then pop it back down, and then it's secure. And then, this just pops right into place. This folds over here and you shut it down. But, don't forget, I've noticed this one little piece has to be on top, right there. And then you screw all three pieces down. Looks like I'm good to go and we'll see the video results. Alright, did it work guys or didn't it work? Let me know in the comment section. Looks like it worked.